The Everest Base Camp Trek is one of the most famous trek in the world. It is famous for its fantastic mountain peaks and the awesome beauty all around the places. But this video series is unique as the route and the journey both are unique. And it was done under INR 12K from Kolkata to Kolkata. Yeah right, it was under USD 175 only. The journey started from Kolkata, India, boarded the Gangashagar Express from Shialda Station, went up to Jainagar Station in Bihar. Jainagar is the last station for that train, then boarded a Tanga, that is a horse-pulled lightweight vehicle and a public bus to reach the India-Nepal border. From there took multiple public transport to reach Katari Bazaar via Mirchaya in Nepal. Stayed the night at Katari Bazaar. In the morning availed public transport to Okhaldunga Bazaar. From there took another shared vehicle towards Pablu as far as it took. Then started trekking and boarded a tractor to reach farther as far as it went. Again started trekking and reached Pablu Airport. Stayed the night at Pablu. Pablu Airport is an airport located in the village of Pablu. It is in Solu Dutkunda, which is the district headquarter of Solu Kumbhu district of province number one in Nepal. The airport resides at an elevation of 7,918 feet above mean sea level. It has one runway which is 671 meters in length. The Civil Aviation Authority of Nepal shut down the airport in 2013 in order to pave the runway. The airport reopened one year later with a full black-topped runway. As the airport lies within the approach of Lukla Airport, flights en route Lukla often get diverted to Faplu Airport. Faplu Airport is the cargo pickup place for Lukla and Upper Solukumbhu and Everest region. This airport has become a great attraction spot as well as great relief for locals after the renewal of the airport. From Faplu took a shared vehicle towards Ringmo or Ringmo village. The car broke down on the way, so had to wait for some time and then continued the journey to Ringmo village. From Ringmo started trekking. After crossing Takashindula, the highest pass of that hill, reached Takshindu Monastery after some time. It is a beautiful monastery covered with beautiful pine forests and pink rhododendrons on all sides. The monastery is situated above 10,000 feet, that is 3,050 meters.
spent some time there and then continued the downhill journey. Crossed a tributary of the Dudkoshi River by a hanging bridge. Then started upward journey towards Nunthala village. Spent that night at the Nunthala village. In the morning started trekking from Nunthala village. This Nunthala village is not the one which you can find easily in Google or Wikipedia. You can find the place as Nunthala Manidigma in the Google map. The elevation of Nunthala village is around 7300 feet. That is 2225 meters. The journey from Nunthala is downhill up to the Dudkoshi river. The trail leads through terraced fields and yards of houses. Crossed the river by a hanging bridge. Now it's an uphill journey towards Jubing or Jubing. The trail goes through the forest. Then it continues through terraced fields to reach the Rai village of Jubing. The elevation of the village is around 5,500 feet. At Juvin, there are some accommodations available for the trekkers. But our journey continued towards Karikula. From Juvin, the path is a slow climb to a village around a ridge. The journey continues to the village of Karikula. Past the monastery of Pemanamdi, the village of Karikula respites watching the Karikula river. The settlement is divided into two parts. One is the charming tourist site for travelers and trekkers, which has well equipped lodges, restaurants and even snooker house. Another side of the village is made up of retail shops, electronics, grocery and clothing stores, mostly mostly focused on the locals. Its houses and lodges were very typical of Sherpa architecture, neat two-story buildings of hand-hewn stone with copious windows, brightly colored wood trim and a front door that opens directly on the main trail, sometimes with a flagstone patio and perhaps a prayer pole. Vegetable gardens, marigolds, roses, cosmos and banana trees filled the green spaces around the houses. Yeah, they grow bananas at 9000 feet. It apparently doesn't snow much, even in winter. From Karikola, the path is a down and up journey, Bubsa. From Bubsa, the trail ascends to Bumsing village, that is 7544 feet. And the trail continues to the north side of the valley to reach Puya village that is 9170 feet. 